श्यामला तल द नेम मे नॉट रिंग ए बिल इन योर माइंड इट्स अ टाइनी रिमोट विलेज इन द चंपावत डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उत्तराखंड नियर टनकपुर द विवेकानंद आश्रम इज सिचुएटेड ऑन ए हिल टॉप एट ए हाइट ऑफ अराउंड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड मीटर्स nestled amongst pine and the other trees the name shyamlatal was given by swami virajananda ji maharaj a disciple and close follower of swami vivekananda who also went on to become the sixth president of the ramakrishna order the original name of the village was shyala and since there was also a lake or tal in the area he changed it to shyamlatal 5 km off the national highway number no. 9 it's a perfect place for spiritual seekers to soak in the quiet natural surroundings and even take a break from the polluted environment of city life sprawled over an area of 40 acres the ashram has a temple a guest house housing for resident monks a hospital a coaching center a dairy besides farming land the adhyaksha of the ashram swami gyananishthananda ji maharaj gave this background of the ashram vivekananda ashram is a branch of ramakrishna math belur math west bengal this ashram was established by shrimad swami virajananda ji maharaj a foremost monastic disciple of swami vivekananda in the year 1915 with financial help and moral support from mother shivier the new temple building was inaugurated by swami smarananda ji maharaj in 2011 and houses the shrine chanting from the scriptures is done in the morning and keeping with the tradition of ramakrishna math the evening arati of khandana bhava is done at sunset every evening even otherwise one can go and meditate at the temple which opens at 5 o'clock in the morning little away from the main ashram building is a small cottage where swami virajananda ji maharaj stayed and compiled much of the complete works of swami vivekananda it is called virajananda dham and it exhibits many personal belongings used by him this is what swami gyananishthananda ji maharaj had to say about the other activities of the ashram The ashram provides accommodation and proper environment to spiritual seekers for spiritual upliftment and growth. At present, the ashram is engaged in providing services like free medical services, non-formal education for children up to class eight, computer coaching center, dairy. relief work agricultural work etc in line with the philosophy of shivagyane jiva seva service to mankind is service to god there is a small hospital that caters to the medical requirement of the nearby villagers it has basic diagnostic facilities like x-ray ecg dental extraction pathological tests etc everything including doctors consultation and medicines are given for free a hospital van brings patients from far away villages and after treatment even drops them off there are plans to expand the facilities at the hospital under the godadhar abhyudaya prakalpa called the gap program coaching facilities are provided to local children 
from class 1 to 8. Not only coaching, for the overall growth of the children, they are taught the scriptures and chanting. They also have some time slots for playing games. Right from the beginning, the ashram had a dairy. It is situated just about 100 meters from the main gate and presently there are four milking cows. The milk, besides meeting the daily requirement of the ashram, is also given to the children every day who come for coaching. Maharaj Ji daily makes a trip to the dairy to inquire the well-being of the bovines. The ashram is also engaged periodically in relief work which benefits the poor people of the nearby villages. Major festivals like the Durga Puja, Kali Puja etc and the Tithi Pujas of the Holy Trio of Thakur Ma Swamiji are also celebrated extensively at the ashram. The setting of the ashram on a hilltop is idyllic and the only sounds that you hear are the sounds of nature. As it is off the main road, there is no traffic, no horns and you can always take a short trek up to Tanakpur point from where on a clear day you can have a scenic panoramic view of the Nepal border across the Kali or Sharada river. You can even take a walk down to the Shamlata lake below. There are guest rooms for visitors and the ashram provides three meals. Everything is donation based. A new modern guest house building is under construction which is expected to be completed soon. So if you want a break from the busy material world and spend some time in the quiet environs of nature and do some spiritual introspection, visit the Vivekananda Ashram at Shyamlatal.